Hey guys, what is up? It is Castle Perfect here once again, and today I'm bringing you a battle against Wicario. Uh, this is, I think, the second battle that I have against him. I have another one against him on my channel. Uh, I will link that one in the description. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started. Now, this battle is actually kind of special for me, actually, because I do get to use Kecleon, and Kecleon is one of those Pokemon you don't see every day. Well, actually, you never see it. Uh, but when you see it, it is amazing. And this battle actually includes some amazing, amazing things about Kecleon. And you know just keep watching and you'll notice what I'm talking about later on in this game so I'm going to lead up with my Galfangelo is gonna lead up with his Ferrothorn I wanna set up the sticky weapons and that's exactly what I do as he misses toxic so I was like if you're going to go for another toxic I might as well just switch out into tyranny not because I want tyranny to be toxic uh, but because I want to set up the stealth rocks and this is like the perfect opportunity to do so now I'm actually going to go for the stealth rocks here as he decided to withdraw his um, uh, Ferrothorn and bring out his uh, guard jump, which is totally fine by me because of the sticky web. I'm possibly faster than the guard jump at this point. Um, I'm actually very certain that I'm faster, but I don't have anything to hit the guard jump with. I don't have Dragon Claw on these uh, Tyranny, so I might as well just switch out after I set up my Stealth Rocks. <coughs> Uh, excuse me, I'm going to set out Abusador here, which is going to be my pincer. Um, I was pretty confident it was about to go for the uh, Earthquake because that's super effective against Tyranny, and uh, it is actually resisted by pincer. Now, I, this is like the perfect opportunity for pincer to go um, Mega Evolve, and that is exactly what I go for. I'm going to Mega Evolve this pincer into Mega Pincer, and I'm actually going to go for a straight return. Um, I, w I wasn't sure if he was about to switch out or stay in, but whatever the case, um, I returned. There is nothing on his team that will appreciate a return, and he decided to sack his Charizard, which got totally demolished by the Stealth Rocks, and then I ended up taking him out with a return. Now he's gonna bring out his Gengar, which is, you know, I, I know this thing is actually going to go for the Thunderbolt. I mean, that's that's just you know, it's 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 plain and simple, like it's it it's all written all over his face. I'm going to go for the T-Bolt, so. I decided to switch out into Mr. Rainbow right now, and Mr. Rainbow is the guy of this match. This is the MVP fucking player of this game. Holy shit, he does some amazing work up in here. Now, um, he's gonna withdraw his Gengar here, knowing that he just cannot hurt me. Um, because, you know, Kecleon has amazing special defense, and he can always change typings by using Protein. So, I actually do go for the uh, power up punch here, uh, expecting the fur thorn to come in, which is good. I'm gonna get a plus one attack boost, and that is amazing uh, because that is actually going to help me out later on. But, like, the recoil, man, like so much recoil that Rocky Helmet, the Iron Barbs, the Life Orb, holy shit, man, what the hell? <laughs> Uh, sometimes, man, the Ferrothorns are things you don't want to touch, seriously. Physical attacks against Ferrothorns are just no, no, no go. Um, but anyways, it's gonna set up with the lead seed on my Kecklin, which I'm totally fine by. Um, I'm actually going to go for another power-up punch because I think that is the, like, the best thing that I can do at this point. Because, I mean, why not? I mean, getting plus one attack, I mean, actually plus two right now. Um, and that is actually pretty scary considering the fact that I can hit everything on his team and I'm at plus two. It's like I just set up with a sword sense, uh, which is very good. Now, uh, I'm actually kind of questioning what he's gonna go for. He decided to go for the toxic simply because he don't want me to be setting up all over the place, but he misses his toxic once again and that is really unlucky, you know. Using toxic can be a little bit tricky sometimes. It has very low accuracy and it is not such a reliable move to go for sometimes. Uh, but anyway, he's gonna go for the protect just to get a little bit of lead seed recovery going on. I go for the power up punch. I obviously don't hit him, but I get a little bit of recovery uh, from the leftovers. The lead seed is gonna kick in and holy shit, the, you know, the animation of lead seed is so long. It takes so long. Oh my god, but I don't know Game Freak. I don't know why you did that, but whatever the case, he's gonna decide to switch out here into AG Slash, which is totally fine by me as I'm gonna go for the um, recover. He's actually gonna get a minus one in speed because of the sticky way, which is totally fine and makes me faster, but I think that I was faster by nature, so I think I have a higher base speed, um, nonetheless, so. Anyways, I'm gonna go uh, and recover my HP back to full, which is really awesome. I think the lead seed is actually going to kick in right now. Oh, it looks like he's, he's he also has uh, leftovers, which is totally fine by me as well. Um, lead seed is actually going to happen. 
Um, and once again, that animation takes way too long. I'm actually gonna go for the Shadow Sneak here. I'm gonna turn it into Ghost type in case he decided to like go for a Sacred Sword or maybe a Swords Dance on his own, uh, which is exactly what it goes for. I mean, he's gonna set up on me with a Swords Dance. But remember, guys, I am Ghost type right now. The thing is with Kecleon, it has two priority moves: Shadow, uh, Shadow Sneak, and Sucker Punch. Now the thing is, I turned myself into Ghost, pretty much taunting him into going for the Shadow Sneak of his own. Now if he goes for the Shadow Sneak, considering the fact that I uh, my, uh, my base speed is higher and he got a minus one uh, speed because of the Sticky Web, Sucker Punch is actually gonna go first. Now this is awesome because I actually get rid of the Age Slash so fast. Um, it's awesome. I mean, I don't, I don't quite see Kecleon's taking down Age Slash that often, do you? I don't, I don't see them doing that. But <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, now in comes Lucario. He's gonna get a minus one speed, which is totally awesome. But if you may or may not have noticed, I just went for the Sucker Punch on the previous turn, meaning that I'm actually a Dark type. Also meaning that he is pretty taunted to go for a Fighting type attack, and knowing that, I'm actually gonna go for the Shadow Sneak. Changing my typing before he attacks to Ghost, uh, meaning that I will be avoiding all the damage. Not to mention that the Shadow Sneak did like 60% damage to the Lucario. But I mean, what else can you expect? I mean, I got a plus 2 attack. This thing is a monster. Um, he's gonna get a little bit of uh, recovery going on because of the lead seed. I am totally fine by that because I do have enough HP to continue to break Havoc on his team, which is great. Now he's gonna decide to switch out into Ferrothorn because he knows I am possibly going to go uh, or for the Sucker Punch, but instead of going for the Sucker Punch, I decided to go for the Shadow Sneak one more time because um, I did like 60% damage with the Shadow Sneak. Why would I not go for it one more time? <clears throat> I don't have any reason not to. So Iron Barbs is gonna kick in, Rocky Helmet is gonna kick in, Lead Seed is gonna kick in in a moment after I get a little bit of recovery from the leftovers and um, you know uh, I don't like facing Ferrothorns with Mr. Rainbow like it's so much recoil it pisses me off I don't like that um, I think Ferrothorn is such an annoying Pokemon but whatever um, I'm going to get uh, my HP back to full because of the recover, recover he's gonna go for the toxic this time he decided to hit well he didn't really decide to hit but his Ferrothorn actually hit the toxic like, he missed the first time against my Galfantula, missed the first time against Mr. Rainbow, but hits on the second time on my Tyranny and on my Mr. Rainbow one more time. Um, and, you know, this is like the only thing that is going to stop Kecleon from like pretty much sweeping his entire team, like um, pretty much stalling the Toxic. Like, that is his only way out, because um, if he decides to go for something else, I can just pretty much go for the Shadow Sneak, Sucker Punch, there is nothing on his team that is pretty much resistant to any of my moves uh, <clears throat> that I can use uh, with this Mr. Rainbow, but whatever, he's gonna go for the Rico, for the Protect, I'm sorry, um, he's gonna be stalling the Toxic like I said, um, this time he, he does not go for the Protect, which is very good for me, I'm gonna go for the Power Up Punch to get another plus uh, attack, and I'm actually at plus 3 attack right now. And because of the Iron Barbs, Rocky Helmet, and all the G's jazz that this guy has uh, on his arsenal, like, holy shit, so much recoil, I just don't like it, but whatever, he's gonna go for the guy robot, he's gonna take me out, finally, after so much damage, like, this guy, Mr. Rainbow, you're amazing, now, Web Design is actually gonna come in here to clean up the house, um, Ferrothorn is gonna go down to a Bug Buzz, which is great, now, I think he only has his Garchomp left, and he's Lucario if I'm not mistaken, uh, but whatever the case is, Garchomp is gonna get a minus one speed obviously because of the sticky web, uh, I'm going to switch out, I have no idea why I actually did that, I should have gone for the Pug Buzz, but um, I think that I predicted the Earth, yeah exactly, I did predict the Earthquake and that's why I went into Abusador, which by the way, like, what do you, how do you translate that into Spanish, uh, I mean into English, Abusador is like, uh, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter, I might just put the translation somewhere in the comment section below, but whatever the case, I remember now why I did not want for the Bug Buzz, he's almost at full HP, meaning that I will not KO him with the Bug Buzz, I decided to predict the Earthquake, go into my Mega Pinsir, but instead he goes for the Dragon Claw, takes me out, uh, well actually it doesn't take me out, I, I was able to go for the Return, do a lot of damage, bring him down to red, then he takes me out, then I bring out my Crawdon, which is gonna be Mr. Krabs, um, I think Mr. Krabs, that's the name, right? Uh, Mr. Krabs, Dr. Krabs, sorry, 
Um, and I'm actually going to be able to finish off the Garchomp with an Aqua Jet, finish off the Gengar with an Aqua Jet, and pretty much clean house with an Aqua Jet one more time, because the Lucario is about to go down to an Aqua Jet. <laughs> I said Aqua Jet so many times. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, because it was really amazing to see Kecleon doing so much work. Um, if you if you guys have like another video or you know someone else who has done so much with this guy Please, you know tell me the name or link me the video or something like that because I need to see that There is so much epicness going on around Kecleon like so much But anyways guys, I'm talking too much. Thank you very much for watching Remember to comment rate and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously and you guys are amazing for all the support you guys have been showing me lately And uh, other than that guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace